What's going on guys? Your boy Terabyte Reacts here, back with another reaction of Evangelion Terror Squad. What's up? Anyways, last episode we saw um a lot of things going on with this with um with this anime whereas in we've we're seeing the they displayed the genius of Misato and her military command her knowledge you know what i'm saying like her knowledge her skills her her intelligence was shown off in that episode and i i loved it i love the fact that they're giving her a time to shine in the anime as in we being introduced to um new um we being introduced to all three children that are doing this thing right um Ray, Asuka, and Shinji. Okay, so now we know um, all three of them didn't know there was a th there was a third or one before Shinji, which um, still pretty cool knowledge, pretty cool stuff to know. The battle that took place on the water was pretty cool. They fought that one that looked like a shark, um, the angel that looked like a shark. And you already know, we got introduced to, to Asuka. She is a total mean girl. She's a mean girl. You know what I'm saying? But still, everybody knows that it's a pretense, right? It, it's, it's, it's not pretense, I should say. It's she's pretending like she's trying to put on a persona that, you know, it's, it's a defense mechanism. People do it all the time. Like they put on this persona of this person that they're really not you know what i'm saying just to fit in to feel to be more confident um or to feel more confident i should say um in in that retrospect so i totally understand why she does it and and it um in some ways it does make her come off like a a um an asshole and but at the same time you do understand because you see how she felt when ray just jumped in and was immediately immediate chemistry with Shinji. She felt some sort of way about it because she's like, I tried so hard and I still I couldn't get it. And she just boom. Because the thing about it with with Ray and Shinji, Ray doesn't think about that much. She doesn't think about that much. She just gets shit done. She's just like, she's like, dude, let's just get this done. I don't care what it takes. Let's just get it done. Um, plus, she already had a little bit of chemistry with Shinji from the episode before. So, you know, so them learning them, Misato coming up with the idea that they have to live together, sleep together, doing all of this stuff together to achieve a hundred percent um synchronization, which is which is um very true in life, as I said in the last video, is very true in life. That stuff like that is um that is something that can actually happen. Um, when I use the example of a child sleeping on your chest, you know, your heartbeat just synchronized and you're like, what is that about? You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's a crazy thing. It's a special thing to experience. If you've never experienced it before, um, you know, it's, it's, it's just good how they're doing this anime because it's not just about the action. You know, it's a little bit of action throwing in thrown in now and there but i i truly believe that this is one of those animes that you really gotta really sit down and be like hmm hmm what do i really think of that you know what i'm saying like if i was in that position what would i do you know what i'm saying it's not how rah 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 you know what i'm saying like i love these classic animes when writers used to take time and flesh out their stories nowadays animes come out it's just all about the fighting it's all about the fighting. No story, no nothing. You might get a backstory here and there, but it's all about the fighting, especially shown in animes. And 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 I just don't understand what it it's some of the times a lot of these animes you just don't get the hype. You don't get the hype. I just don't get the hype. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I can't get into some in into some of these animes, even though I'm planning to try out these new ones. You know what I'm saying? Some of them, if the story, it's if the story, if I'm 10 episodes deep and this story don't grasp me, I'm not going to be continuing the series. I'm letting you guys know right now, because if it's trash, if it's something that's, 
You know what I'm saying? I'm not out here. I'm not looking for a good cry, man. You get what I'm saying? Good cry one <laughs> cry one episodes and, and then you know what I'm saying the story is still completely trash you know what I'm saying you're not gonna get me um invested by just showing me fight 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 and then the same the same recycled story over and over again like I don't want to see that again you know what I'm saying I need something inventive like me starting to watch attack on Titan and that where I am right now, up until, um, what is it, episode 8, I think, or 9? Is it 9? I think I'm, I think I'll watch episode 8. Uh, yeah, I think episode 8 is the last episode I'll watch. Where we found out the situation that's going on with, with Aaron, right? So I'm, I'm, I'm like, this is great. Because I never expected it from you guys saw... What I will throughout the anime, throughout the, the early episodes that I was watching, like I didn't see this coming, and I was I'm totally confused by that situation right now. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm saying. Good writing, good okie dokes, good um, misdirections of characters. Like you know what I'm saying? Like you just do not get that in anime anymore. These new type of animes, it's just like, it's just rah rah and who, there's no, some of them don't even have any backstory. Some of them doesn't even show anything. The, the writing is just absolute trash. It's just all kind of fighting and that's the reason why people just watch Dragon Ball nowadays for the nostalgia, for the nostalgia, to see transformations, to see um, good fighting so they could do power scale videos. Like, I'm not, I'm not for that. I love uh, that, and I watch Dragon Ball for the fights now. Nothing else, because that's all you can expect from it. It's pretty much all you can expect from it. Like they did a very good job of coming in with, with the with the Broly movie. The Broly movie was 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 well written, even though I still think they could have done much more for us when it comes on to the Broly story. But they couldn't flesh it out enough because, of course, it's a movie, right? It's a movie, even though there was so much other footage. That was released later. You know what I'm saying? So much footage that came out after was like, oh, this was cut from the movie. You know what I'm saying? But it's a movie, so we understand things are going to get cut. Um, scenes are going to get cut. We get that. Um, you know? So I do not like... I, I, um, I love the Tournament of Power. But I do not like the fact that they that they, there was a lot... There were so many things in Super that was not explained. Even though I know Super is coming back, but there were so many things in in that in in, in those uh, how many episodes were it? like 150 or something like that. I don't remember exactly, but in all those episodes, there were so many things that weren't really fleshed out and explained, and that was just total ass bowls. You know. So that's what I'm saying. It's just that it's just it's just um crowd pleasing stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's it, it, you know what I'm saying? It's like you're jerking off the fans, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, 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 they want to see that? That's the theory that's out there. Okay, let's give them that. No. You know what I'm saying? Come up with a, with an original story, man. That's that's that that's what it's all about. And I know there's thousands of animes out there that I have not seen. I know there is, right? But I and I, and I know that there there are really good storytellers out there that are not getting recognized like how these and these other animes are getting recognized. And that's because the majority the majority of people that watch anime, they do not really want to see a great story. They don't you get what I'm saying? They just want to be entertained. And that's the reason why animes like Code Geass get such a bad rap. Because it's not just about the action. It's not about the mechs. You know, it's not about the nightmares. It's about you understanding who Lelouch is. You understanding who Suzaku is. You understanding who all these characters that play a major role in that anime. Understanding who they are. So... 
um, people don't really want to see that. So the so a lot of times people are gonna look down at these enemies and say they're trash because oh oh Lord I gotta think no no I do enough of that at school and at work I don't want to do this in my spare time no my brain <laughs> you know they don't want to do it so that's just how it is and I understand it I understand them it's just that I really wish more people would think <laughs> to be honest you know what I'm saying I experience this um on a daily basis to be honest when I sometimes I'm just there to, just staring at some people like you serious right now <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, how can you possibly be thinking like that at this point in moment? You know, but some people, they just feel like certain things, it just doesn't belong in certain places. Right. When it comes on to anime and it's your opinion, it's your opinion. It's my opinion, of course. Um, so all opinions are welcome as always on this channel, man. So thank you guys. Thank you guys for coming over and watching this with me. Go ahead, click that link in the description, and we will talk again. Thank you guys for coming over and watching. See you guys for the review. So first, let me apologize sincerely for that, um, for the mix up there during, during the recording. Um, I had to switch back to, um, to Kiss Anime because the new site that a subscriber sent me to, the episode kept skipping, like the audio kept skipping. So it, it went out of sync. I don't know why it was doing that. Um, but it was. It was really annoying. So I'm going to try it again because I did test the side out um, of the episodes that I watched already. And, it, and I wasn't having that problem. So maybe it's just a bad episode 10 that they have on the side that kept doing that. I don't know. Maybe it's my fault. I don't know if it, I don't think it was my internet because I went over to Kiss Anime and it was fine. So I don't know why it was doing that. I, it's just really weird situation where it was that. Uh, the audio kept skipping and that caused the audio to be out of sync with the video. So it was, it was just weird. Um, so I had to switch just so I don't waste time and I don't have to go back and start recording over and stuff like that. So I didn't want to do that. So yes, in this episode, man, it was pretty clear that what they're, what they're trying to establish, um, in this episode is to show um like and i to give you an idea of where these angels are coming from because there was a question as is this something that i've asked in the past like why don't they go on the offensive um and find these angels and find where they're coming from and it seems like they've done that before and that's what caused the second impact which is i've always wondered what are these first impact second impact what is this situation? What is why they call it that? And we also got to learn that these angels are being hatched from eggs. I don't know how the hell machines are coming out of eggs, but they're hatching out of eggs. And, and they're obviously machines are not um, not necessarily an organism because they they're metal. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, how are they coming out of eggs? <laughs> anyways but they're being hatched maybe it's a mechanical egg we i don't know but they went down there to capture this egg um with the angel still in it and it started to hatch while it was down there um i, I um i didn't think that they were that um that asuka was going to die why because shinji was up there if shinji's up there i know shinji's not gonna wait on no suit to go get her because if if that's the case, if the thing is going to 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 bust, um, if the thing was you know was going to let her get killed, I don't think Shinji would have would have allowed that. You get what I'm saying? Like maybe I'm not finding the right words, but I don't think he would have stood up there and watched her sink to the depths and die. Like I think he would have went after her anyways. So. Um, and plus the moment was not built up 
that much for you to say, okay, she's going to die. It wasn't built up that way. So the fact that they showed him up there watching over her, um, I figured he would have done something in that moment. Um, but it would have been a complete surprise if he actually didn't get to her in time. Um, would have been more dramatic, of course, but I'm glad that she's okay. Um, you know, um, so she, it's this, this anime, it causes you to think a lot about a lot of things, a lot of things that you can analyze during the anime. It wasn't much to analyze in this episode other than that. We just got some new information about angels. So, um, and learned about uh, a little bit about Asuka's past, um, her you know, learning that she's graduated college. Um, so we know that she does, she can't really do the schoolwork because she doesn't really understand Japanese. Um, she can't read it very well. She can speak it, but she can't read it very well, which is a common thing when it comes on to, to, to language um, and switching over or learning a new language. A lot of times you don't know how to read the language, but a lot of times you know how to speak it. Like you can speak it, you can communi communicate it, but if you see it on paper, you're completely confused. It's it's a very common thing with, um, when it comes on to language barriers. So I totally understand where she's coming from with that. Um, we also um, didn't really get to see Ray that much this episode, but you already know she's a true soldier. Um, Misato, um, with, this, with the strategy again, um, I didn't like what Shinji's dad ordered, um, um, Commander Ikari, or whatever his name is. He ordered the UN to wipe out everybody if this goes south, so they could clean up, so everybody gets deaded if this, it, it, oh my god, that shit was just too crazy, man. Anyways, um, we already know Father of the Year. I still want to know more about his story and why he's like the way he is. And why does he resonate with Ray so much, you know, and why they have this close relationship that he doesn't have with his very own flesh and blood. Right? We all want to know that. At least I do. Anyways, so this was great, man. Great episode, of course. Um, so thank you guys for watching. As always, remember to subscribe. Hit that like button and leave a comment in the comment section. We have more to come. I'm going to try to do... Um, a couple of episodes. I'm going to try to do a couple of episodes in the next reaction. Promise. I'm going to try to do a couple of episodes in the next reaction. Because I know you guys want me to keep going. Okay? So, thank you guys for watching as always. Hashtag Terror Squad. We out here. Alright? It's your boy Terabyte Reacts. And peace.